शुक्रिया अशफाकतुल्ला साहब बिस्मिल्लाम रहीम आई एम डिलाइटेड टू बी हियर आई कैप इज ऑबियसली अ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन इन द कंट्री और uh, आप लोग हमेशा ये एनुअल प्रोग्राम करते हैं एंड वी आर वेरी प्राउड ऑफ द वे यू कंडक्ट एंड मैनेज दिस इवेंट देखें आई जस्ट क्विकली शेयर विथ यू कि ये जो साल गुजरा है Uh, इसमें पहले नौ महीने में बिफोर कोरोना वायरस हिटस हाउ द इकोनॉमी वाज हाउ द इकोनॉमी वाज डूइंग एंड वेयर वी स्टूड आपको पता है जब ये गवर्नमेंट आई वी वर इन अ स्टेट ऑफ एन इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस एंड फॉर दैट रीजन वी हैड टू गो टू द आईएमएफ नो बडी गोज टू द आईएमएफ विदाउट अ सीरियस इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन एंड वी वर फोर्स टू डू दैट उसके बाद कई मुश्किल फैसले किए गए विच इंक्लूडेड ट्राइंग टू मोबिलाइज रिसोर्स ट्राइंग टू पे ऑफ द्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ डेट एंड यू विल नो दैट इन द टू ईयर्स ऑफ पी टी आई फाइव थाउजेंड बिलियन रुपीज ऑफ डेट पेमेंट्स हैव हैड टू बी मेड अब ये जो साल गुजर रहा है इसमें पहला चैलेंज तो ये था कि हाउ टू मोबिलाइज आर टैक्स रेवेन्यूज विच हैज बिन हिस्टोरिकल failing in our a situation the tax to gdp ratio never you know really going uh, beyond 11% or so so i think the efforts of the fbr were uh, pretty good and even though we did not meet our very ambitious targets we were going at the rate of about 17% uh, growth if we had continued on that path we could have hit about 4 and a half uh, trillion 4500 billion or so second uh, we were very aggressive in cutting expenditures and it was a rare time in pakistani economic history that just before the corona struck us we had a primary balance that was in fact positive which means that our expenditures were less than our income if you did not include interest in it and that number was about uh, 194 billion plus the current account deficit which was at a historically high level of 20 billion dollars had been brought down to 3 billion and exports which were stagnant for the last 5 years had begun to move up during this time the non tax revenues was also increased uh the target was 1.1 but in fact uh we were able to get um, higher than 1.5 trillion and that was 134% growth over last year and uh all this was done without uh borrowing anything from the central bank but without giving any supplementary grants and so on the fbi was increased by 137% and the world as a whole appreciated pakistan's performance whether it was in the imf board whether it was by moody's which up- upgraded pakistan's ratings or even bloomberg which called the pakistani stock market the best performing in the world in december 2019 all that of course was uh, affected by the corona virus people can uh, and experts can differ on the impact of the corona virus but we think that the gdp uh, could be affected by up to 3 trillion rupees at the same time as i said if we were heading in a revenue collection uh, of about 4.5 and now we are uh, reaching about 3.9 that means there's a 600 billion plus loss on the revenue side exports are down remittances are down employment is down uh large scale manufacturing is down retail trade is down and clearly uh you know it's a, it's a big big calamity so the first uh, reaction of the government was to try and do something about it and in that case we came out with the corona virus uh stimulus package in which about 16 million pakistanis are being given uh, cash transfers and small and medium enterprises 
their loans have been, their principal has been deferred by up to a year. Their uh, payroll expenses are being financed through subsidized schemes. Uh, electricity bills are being paid by the government for smaller commercial enterprises. 280 billion rupees worth of uh, wheat has been procured to get money into the hands of the agriculture sector so they can go on and generate demand in the in the economy. Utility stores have been given uh, extraordinary amounts to try and reach the middle class by giving them subsidized food products and all that. So in this environment, it's uh, quite challenging to come up with a new budget. Anyway, the philosophy of the new budget was uh, threefold. First, that we should uh, have no new taxes because we did not want that at this time when the economy is in a severe a historic contraction that we should further burden the existing taxpayers with new, ta new taxes. The second was to try and give as much relief as possible first to our citizens and second to our businesses because we have to strike a good balance between protecting uh, the health and safety of our people, but at the same time ensuring that the economy does not suffer in such a way that uh, the lives of individuals become even more uh, hard pressed than they are anyway. So what were some of the you know key points in the new budget? As I said, this budget has a revenue target of 4.9 trillion. Some people think it is ambitious and I can sort of agree with that because in this time uh, it does appear uh, ambitious. At the same time, uh, it's very hard to be certain uh, or be confident about making forecasts because we just don't know how long uh, the coronavirus will uh, be around, uh, whether its severity will increase. So we have to like, uh, you know, be a little humble about our capacity for uh, giving uh, correct uh, forecasts. Uh, but if the coronavirus begins to recede and in the next, uh, you know, after a quarter or so, the economy really picks up, then this target would, I think, over the year as a whole, uh, be achievable. Second is that we thought we will reduce the cost of doing business for our businesses. So about 1600 tariff lines, their uh, tariffs and duties were brought down to zero. This means about it could cover up to 20,000 raw material items. And that would be about 20% of the entire imports that we have struck the duties to zero. And that's going to be, I think, uh, having a salutary effect on cost of doing business because these are all raw materials. Similarly, uh, we have brought down the, uh, the duties on about 200 other items and those are intermediate inputs. And we have tried also to bring down the uh, regulatory duty on another 166 tariff lines. We have lowered the withholding tax on imports of raw material and intermediate goods to, you know, one to 2% from five, five and a half percent. And especially on imports of capital machinery, we have brought it down to 1% from five and a half percent. The uh, FED, the federal excise duty on cement has been reduced uh, to one, 0.75% from 2% and the general sales tax has been lowered for retail outlets which are connected to the uh, FBR the yeah. point of sale from 14 to 12% for hospitality sector we have minimum taxes reduced we have given exemptions of duties and taxes on diagnostic kits for cancer and corona and CNIC threshold has been increased from 50,000 to 100,000. 
minimum tax reduced for hotels, marriage halls, etc. Removal of withholding tax on school fees, marriage halls, and so on. And withholding agent threshold enhanced to 100 million from 50 million, and so on. Uh, on the expenditure side, we have tried to be uh, again very aggressive. We have in fact reduced the nominal budget of the civil government and we have not increased the military expenditure in real terms. We have tried also to protect two of our flagship programs. The first is the public sector development program where the number is retained at 650 billion because it's more than last year's actual utilization. And similarly for SAS program, uh, which is a very uh, successful and I think much appreciated program, the number has been increased to 207 billion rupees. Because uh, what we want to do really is on the one hand, ensure that business activity picks up and the adverse effects of the lockdown are minimized. And on the other hand, to ensure that the people who are the most uh, vulnerable, the poorest, the ones with the least uh, capacity for generating income on their own to be provided cash transfers and liquidity so that they can you know, survive this period of hardship and play their part in the economy subsequently. So this is uh, where we are. Our hope is that we can achieve the growth uh, GDP growth target of, uh, you know, 2%. And like I said, a lot depends on how uh, events unfold, not just domestically, but internationally. Because if the uh, corona affected countries um, get going uh, soon enough, then the demand for our exports will pick up. And that also will mean that our own uh, economic activity will be positively affected. So this is where we are. I'm happy to respond to any questions if there's a system for doing that. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. And uh, I want to again thank ICAP and uh, Mr. Tola and uh, Mr. Khalilullah Sheikh Saab and I see uh, Asad Ali Shah Saab also is there. So uh, thank you very much for inviting me.